Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. In my household, there's me, my husband, and our adorable one-year-old little boy. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am trying out a new recipe. It's called Amish chicken. So here I have um, about eight pieces, I think, of chicken. I have legs and thighs, and this is what I seasoned my chicken with. Onion powder, garlic powder, and some seasoned salt. Here I have some flour for dredging, and I season the flour with the same thing. Now the recipe calls for just seasoning the flour, but I felt like the chicken would be bland. I hope I didn't make it too salty. I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. I have a nine by 13 um, pan here, and uh, I forgot. And here I have a combination of um, heavy whipping cream and water. So, all I'm gonna do is dredge the chicken pieces in the flour, put them in the pan, and then I'm gonna cover them with the um, whipping cream mixture, and then you're supposed to bake it uncovered for about an hour and a half or until the chicken is done, and it's supposed to make its own yummy gravy. So we'll see, so let's get started. All right, got my chicken all dredged, and I am just going to pour this over the chicken. All right, so we'll see how this goes. Okay, so here's our plate. I made some fresh stir-fried broccoli with it, some mashed potatoes. The mashed potatoes are a little bit runny because I made less potatoes than I normally do, but I added in the same amount of heavy whipping cream and I totally forgot, um, but they're still good. And then of course, here is the chicken. Now I did think that the gravy would be a lot thicker and it's not, it's kind of um, a very loose gravy, so it's not thick at all, but I did taste it and it does have a good flavor. So. Anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I tried out a new recipe for dinner tonight. It is a vegetarian pasta dish, bow tie pasta with spinach, um, fresh spinach and fresh mushrooms and onion and garlic and Parmesan. I will make sure to leave the recipe in the description box. I did add a lot more seasoning than the recipe called for. It is from um, Better Homes and Gardens but it's pretty good, pretty tasty. Um, and I am just serving it with some five cheese garlic toast, my favorite garlic toast. I get it from Tom Thumb. And here's what the box looks like. So this was a really quick and easy dish to put together. And I'm gonna try to do more meatless meals um, just because, you know, just trying to do a little bit better, eat a little bit healthier. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Mississippi pot roast. I have made this on our channel before. I will link that video in the description box. It is so easy and delicious. So this is my plate. I also made some canned green beans to go with it and I just doctored it up with some seasonings like um, garlic powder, onion powder, garlic salt, seasoned salt, and I also added some bacon into it. I'm having mine with rice. And this is Howard's plate. And we had some leftover mashed potatoes in the fridge from another meal. So he is having mashed potatoes with his Mississippi pot roast. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight. And we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, I am cooking from my freezer. In my freezer, I had this um, bag of chicken wings from Walmart. They are Asian style seven spice and it comes with a dry rub packet. So I cook these in my air fryer at 400 degrees for about 23 minutes and here they are. And then we had some leftover green beans from the other day and then I just made a side of this pastaroni that we both like a lot. So quick and easy dinner is what we are having tonight. See you guys next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having Aldi pizza and it is the medium one. It's 12 inches, the meat pizza, and you get sausage, pepperoni, beef Philly steak meat, and bacon. 
um, on a traditional crust with four cheeses. And we have had this before, it's been a while. Um, so you cook it directly on the oven mat and then I put it in one of these disposable pizza trays to cut it up. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.